It's only worth ordering a cheeky tikka buna if you know that it's going to turn up at the right address. So here is our second piece of tech. The mapping technology that the riders depend on to find their way using signals from satellites circling the Earth. It's GPS. And these kind folks are going to explain how GPS works. Free pass four five. Go four five. We're at Diego, string Bravo. I'm SSO two. No time tags, no SIF TPs. We're in the window, good six. ERDs are good, good seven. Eight's hey, great, Diego on the Bravo, you have both com lines. Great, no SIF TPs, no time tags, good nine. What just happened? Each position has a specific list of things that they check to make sure that everything is as it should be before we make contact and go live on a satellite. Given that you're running GPS for the entire world in this room. There's not that many people here. I was sort of yeah. expecting more. <laughs> yep, that is a common thing that people are shocked by. That is Lieutenant Sidney Lamond. And this is the Shriver Space Force Base, where worldwide GPS is controlled. From this building, Sydney's team controls the 31 satellites, 12,000 miles above our heads, that make up GPS. Sort of like air traffic control on steroids. Talk me through that then. So on a normal day, what kind of things are you doing in here? We generate the commands, tell the satellite what to do from here. That information gets sent up to the satellite via a ground antenna. Satellite takes that in, does what it's supposed to, and beams down its new signal to our six billion users worldwide. OK, how? I mean, it <laughs> sounds like quite a lot for 10 people to do. They are set in set positions um, in six orbits around the Earth. OK, so it's like you have these kind of elliptical bands Correct. That, could, that coat around. I'm sort of imagining like taking a watermelon and, and, and coating it in elastic bands. Yes, bands, a lot right? of like elastic sort of bands, correct. OK. Of course you've got it as a hologram. <laughs> of course you do. But the satellites don't automatically know their location in orbit around the Earth. Sydney's team have to tell the satellites where they are. So we tell it where it is so that it can tell you guys where you are on the ground. But Time wait, exam. how do you know where it is? We have a huge algorithm in the background that runs all kinds of data and crunches numbers to essentially compute the GPS constellation. So essentially, in this room then, all these people, every day, you're telling the satellites where they are so they can tell everyone else in the world where they are. That is correct. That's a very good explanation. Well, it's a system I'm happy to use. Thank you for, <laughs> yes. for all the years when I haven't got lost. I've you're appreciated welcome. that. 